Thank you, Matt. Another incredible night in Phoenix. The sun ever NBA championship. Very exciting. Planet Orange is blazing as Suns in four is still a thing. News for Tucson's David Kelly joins us now. And David, are fans willing to accept this may have been the Suns last home game this season? We're manifesting Suns in four. <laughs> well, we saw last night that a clinch party at home is always fun. That with the Tampa Bay Lightning winning in the NHL. But I'm sure Suns Nation wouldn't mind if this thing is over on Wednesday night in Wisconsin. The Suns win game two of this best of seven series by 10, their second double digit victory in a row. And early on, it was Mikhail Bridges. He scored 13 points in the first half, finding the open space here. The Suns were down nine in the first quarter, but led by 10 at the break. Giannis Antetokounmpo tried to keep the Bucks close in the third quarter. He had 20 points in that period alone, the most since Michael Jordan did it against the Suns in 1993. But this was Devin Booker's party. He finished with 31 points. Booker was 7 of 12 from behind the three-point arc. The Suns as a team knocked down 20 trays tonight. 118-108 the final. We will have reaction from the Suns interview room up in Phoenix coming up for you just a little bit later in sports. Thousands were lucky enough though to be on hand up in downtown Phoenix to see the Suns go up two games to none. News for Tucson's Eric Fink has been right there all day, all night. Eric, some of these fans have been through the highs and lows over the years with this team and they can really begin to see that title on the horizon. Hey there, David. They sure can. This game two was a little closer throughout compared to game one, but when the final buzzer <laughs> sounded, well, it sounded a lot like Tuesday night. The Suns now standing just two wins away from the team's first franchise NBA title. And these Suns up here in the Valley, they are ecstatic. These fans are pumped with their team holding home court in the first two games of this NBA final series. The atmosphere was once again electric. The, con the consensus here, even though many fans would like to see the Suns close the finals out here at home, they'd also love to see a sweep. We caught up with some fans, including a few Tucsonans, right after the game two win. We've been okay. to every playoff game. Yeah. This is our first season doing our season tickets. And man, we picked the perfect season to do it. We've been having a great time and every single game has been great. Atmosphere is amazing, so it's a no-brainer. I'm so excited. I mean, this city's ready, ready for this. We've been waiting our whole lives and, you know, third time's a charm. So two more games and let's bring it home. So the Suns now leading this best of seven series, two games to none with the series now shifting to Milwaukee for game three on Sunday night. Tip off shortly after five o'clock. Our David Kelly, as he said, will have reaction from the, inter the interview room up here. And we'll also have some highlights and some of his own thoughts coming up a little later in sports. That's it from Phoenix for now. We are live in downtown Phoenix tonight after the Suns win game two of the NBA Finals. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Back to you guys.